Okay, before we jump into the episode, I just wanted to apologize for the poor quality of audio on this first half. We were having a little bit of technical difficulties uh, with some of the audio equipment, but hope you still have a laugh. Okay, bye. Are you are you ready? Mm-hmm. Well, we're on, so. Oh, we are. We are. But that. We are. We are. Close to your mouth. The youth of a nation. Perfect. Hello. Hello. I. I think I can hear you. I want to suck these little legs in. Not my own. The legs of the mic. Well, you can make it your own. That's fine. Nobody would know. So that I can hold now. it a little better. Can you hear me now? Oh, I can hear you fine, girl. Good. It was me that I couldn't hear myself. Still can't. I just sound like I'm in a well. In fact, I'm going to do this. Shay, get out of the well. It's really hard and dark in here. You're not Samara from The Ring. Maybe later. Who knows? You don't know. I still have never seen her jump out of the TV screen because... You don't need to. I was You won't sleep for days. I saw that... I saw that movie in like... What, seventh grade? Oh, it yeah? It was me and my friend, Lindsay Beetle, who watched the scariest movies ever since she was, like, five. And I'd just be like, oh, God. Anyways, and I'm pretty sure I made her hold my hand the whole time because I was so scared. And I was just, like, sweating and shaking the entire movie in the theater. And it sounds like a great that movie time. still scares the shit out of me. I haven't watched it as a 30-year-old, so maybe that'll be our next field trip. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> I don't really want to do that. It's a good, nice thing about being somebody going on a field trip. You're like, I'm not going to sign that form. I'm not going right. to go. I'm going to stay you in my bed. You say no. Yeah, I'm going to call in sick. You're not forced to go. But no, no. field trips, no matter where they were. I know like, how a the fucking tr- dairy dump. cow works. One time we took a field trip to the dump. <laughs> like, sweet, there's a bunch of seagulls everywhere, and it smells like shit, guys. Thanks, St. Patrick's elementary they just want you to know how it works they wanted us to see the horridness that the dump is and to recycle reduce reuse so how was your week brie um it was really good um i catered a little brunch wedding this weekend which was really fun nice nice and um yeah we made a bunch of quiche chocolate chocolate chip cupcakes Scrumptious. and little lemon poppy scones and berry almond scones and that sounds delightful hummus and green goddess and salad and veggies and bacon That's... dates oh. i can never escape the bacon wrapped dates really gross yeah everyone loves them shaded you not know that doesn't everyone ask you if you worked at a place called cafe vino and if you've ever eaten the bacon dates well, they don't. Every time well, someone says it, that. Well, usually it's like, yeah, oh, you worked at Cafe Vino? I love their bacon dates. I'm like, oh, well, It's like they're bacon-wrapped yeah. dates. Who cares? They're yeah. delicious. They are good. I, I don't, don't eat them. I don't care for them. I don't eat them anymore. I can't. I, I don't think I ever really ate them because I didn't. I don't like dates. Except the coffee date cake. That oh, was pretty that good. that toffee date cake. But I mean, cake. how can you go wrong with butter and butter? <laughs> and sugar. It's just butter Brown and sugar. Brown sugar. Yeah. It's and then stuff. brown sugar and butter for the sauce, and then brown sugar and butter and dates for the cake. Yeah. Oh, don't forget the and dates. flour and flour and also flour. Lots. lots of flour. So yeah, that was. Uh, and then oh, and duh. So I also teach kids cooking classes at a place called the Cooking Studio. Yes. That was for the listeners. I know Shay. You know that, right? You know that uh, about me. You do. Did you know that? I thought you just sit in your barn and wait for me to come home and be like, "Bree, get over here, and make the podcast." I thought you just wait for me. Most of the time. But not last week because my kids' camp started. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, so I teach little kids cooking camps. All right. This week's cake decorating. It's going to be a fun time. Maybe I'll get some pointers. Maybe. Anyway, so that happened and that was my week. And then yesterday I cleaned and. Solid week. Because, yeah, I had to. I had to do it. You had to do what? I had to sleep and clean yesterday oh, on my Sunday fun day. That. Yeah. And then, yeah, do 
you like how close my face is to this? I, I, I just like rest my face in the netting of the microphone guard. But, but it, uh, it looks good. It looks good. It looks real good. I didn't lick it, so that's good. No, it's fine. You can ha- lick it. I don't care. How was your week? Uh, just have a drink no, of your drink. No, I'm all off because we did, we were recording on a Monday. So mm-hmm. that's how that's how I work as a 30-year-old. Do you like you take me one day out of my cycle and I'm all off and I don't know what day it is to take my meds. and yeah, Actually, no, kinda, I don't take any meds. It kind of feels weird doing this on a Monday. I'm sorry. <sighs> I had just too much shit to do yesterday. No, it's fine. Um, and but no, I had to sleep. My, my week's been fine. I can't complain. I mean, it's not been the same old, same old. I feel like stuff happened. Uh, No, my grandma came to town. That That's what happened. Your grandma? What you guys do? She's four foot seven and full of spunk. Oh my God, that's amazing. What's her name again? Her name is Lily. Lily. Lily May P. That was her little name was, middle name was... Her little name. name. Her little name. Her her middle name was P, and her um, last name was Petrazine. So all of the little, her little classmates used to call Lily May P, but not on me. Little kids in the 30s were vicious even that back is, then. That is Isn't definitely that vicious? a 30s thing to right? say. That's really vicious. I Wait, her middle name was May? Her or? little, her, her middle, I keep saying her littlest name her middle name was May. Yeah. Okay. So Lily May P. Oh my But not God. on me. That is so that still goes fucked today. up. I know. Um, what are we drinking today, Shay? Kind of the same thing that we were drinking yes, like last time. Because it's, um, what is it? it it's well, blended we had, in with rum. We had, ba- we, what the bakeries? fuck is We had bakeries. We had, they were full of bats. Um, it's what Batman drinks before he we goes and solves crime. We drink batteries. Um, we had daiquiris last time, and then we were having not mojitos. Man, I am. If you like pina maybe I should be taking meds. There it is, and they are delicious. And I'm not a big coconut fan, but I'm a fan of these. Okay, good. Oh, girl, I'm. A fan I got of these. that good, good creme de coco. You did. You did. It is not organic. No, but, but it's good. It is I like it. Delicious. I am a big fan of it. Sweet and coconutty. Mm. And then yeah. It, it, just you, some you put like six shots in there, didn't you? Maybe. Um, because I can't taste us. nothing. Yeah. It's still three we shots. Still got some extra left. I mean, that's a that's a that's a fat drink with a P. P H A T. Hashtag nostalgia fat. It's true. Isn't that coming kind of coming back now? I don't even know. Fat. I don't with know. With, with all the oh, hips it's and with the kids. Been in. That's the only way. With I all the fat. hips and kids. I don't even think that makes the sense. The hips and tips. The hip, well, sometimes you get a fat tip and it's not the kind of tip you want. No, it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh-uh. Speaking of that, we're using uh, daikon radish today. I know. I'm a little scared for you. I'm excited for you. Are you sure? Um, yeah. It's going to be fine. There's a. <laughs> it looks... So I set out it all looks of super Shay's dramatic, ingredients you guys. today, and it's a lot, but that's because it's korean So they just use a lot of ingredients. It's not like you're going to be like, you know, you don't yeah. have to use this whole bottle of fish sauce. Well, I hope not. It's going to be you very, might. hey, you can come down here. Um, come but yeah, I laid out all okay. the ingredients for Shay, and it that, does look like a lot. It does, but I also brought I'm full- ready for the challenge. Good. It's going to be fun. I hope you like food poisoning. Oh, you're not. Gonna you have, me. you know, it is a good thing that you've taught children because it's just, I think, gives you like the, the calmness and patience to deal with me. Mm. I mean, let's be honest. Mm. Mm-hmm. Come on, I'm back into the swing of things, uh, teaching the kids, so I'm learning my patience again. You are. It's funny because, like, the first day they're all like, I don't talk to anyone, I'm shy. Actually, this group got pretty fat, became pretty fast friends. But oh, yeah? like the last day, it's like they're all best fucking friends. Yeah, and they, it's and like they don't want to do anything. Like I had to raise camp. my voice. Did you? I had to have a stern tone of voice with them on the last day. And I was like, you guys, I'm really fucking nice, you little bitches. I'm sure you said that. I did. But I'm actually more sure that you apologized after you yelled at them. I did. I was like, I did. I literally <laughs> you did. Like, I'm sorry. I don't want to have to talk to you guys like this, but you're not fucking listening. 
I didn't say that. I know you don't say fucking, but... And then did you go cry in your car at lunch? No, I was like, oh. you guys don't get to play music until you fucking work. You should have just played them awful music. Oh, they were playing yeah, Weird Al, which was sweet. What? Yeah, really? one kid picked Weird Al on the last day. That was fun. But the, every cool other kids. day they wanted to play Old Town Road seven times in a row. What is that? I don't even know what that is. The new Billy Ray Cyrus song with... Old Little Nas or All something. All you have to say is Billy Ray Cyrus. It's fine. Um, and it's like a country rap song. I, I want to take my horse to the old town road. Oh, I'm yeah. going to ride that into the cane no more. Is that what he says? I, I don't I know what he says, but I know what you're talking about. on my booty in my fucking jacuzzi in my tutti fruity. Those that was nice. Words. I liked it. Those are some of the words, I think. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah, so it's going to be a fun cooking time for you. That was good. I like it. I'm enjoying it. Good. Well, what did you roll? Well, I rolled cooking. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. What did I roll, Brie? Yeah, what did you roll? You rolled science. I did. You rolled. So what kind of knowledge are we going to get? Are we going to get some more global warming? We're going to fucking... Just no, we're gonna get some global warming, you guys. No, we're not. <laughs> I'll always tie it in though, somehow, you always some do. way. Which is good on you, as you should say. You know what? We need more of that in our lives. It's fine, it's, it's good. fine. Um, yeah, I'm doing science and I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> You're hilarious. No, I dig it. I like it. I like it. It's good. Good. Well. It's should good. we start cooking? I think it's. I think we should probably start. Cooking. We probably should start cooking. Yes. I, I agree with that. It's time. It's just time. It is time. Perfect. Like Rafiki says. Okay. I'm nervous for you. I'm I know. Just, I'm totally. All right. Joking. Do I sound okay? Do I sound good? You sound fucking right. I sound okay. You can hear me fine. I can hear you. Did okay. I, I probably should take off my watch. Your watch. My watch. A witch watch. My witch watch and my wigwam. Your wigwam. All right. You tell me when you're ready to cook. Um, I need some measuring cups. Shay, what is in front of you right now? There's a lot of shit. Yeah. What is most concerning that's in front of me is these fucking wildflowers. Are we going like, to put some sugar shit on them? Because, like... Nope. It just looks extra fancy is all I'm saying. Yeah, she got some flowers in front of her. Um, I honestly those thought are some chive blossoms and some edible flowers that oh. I use for the wedding, but the chive blossoms we're going to garnish One our time, things with. One time I put some flowers on my pregnant cousin's cake because I wasn't paying attention in the sense that I wasn't like I was just doing it really quickly and I didn't look it up and they were poisonous. So, but thank God I didn't poison anybody because then I was like, mm, I should look that up. And I took that shit off. But they were only poisonous to pregnant people, which was very weird. Anyway. And you used it on her baby, pregnant. And the baby is three years old and she's the fucking smartest thing in the world. So it's fine. So didn't really you kid. helped the baby <coughs> become smart. I did. Or... It's like, I'm pretty sure poisonous flowers is like, <clears throat> like a cold for an immune system. You just mm-hmm. get that, get that immune system up. Exactly. It's good for newborns. Ryan, I love you. Especially. You know, I love Charlie. <laughs> That's the little, his little niece. Anyway. Oh. Um, okay. So yeah, you so have anyway. some flowers. So I got the, the flowers. Let's see. We got three limes, a big old daikon dick. Mm-hmm. It does look a little like a, Do you know. know what a daikon is, Shay? Um, I heard about it once. It's a radish. Oh, it's a radish. Describe it. Um, well, it looks like a... A giant... Of, a baby arm. Definitely a b- giant baby arm with no hand or or a penis that mm-hmm. has not been circumcised. A horse dick. Um, pretty much, actually. That's probably on point, actually. What color is it? It's white. Yeah. Okay. Very white. You can move on now. Okay. Oh, we got some chopsticks. Yep. I wish I could use them right now because then this would all be over. Um, <laughs> then, <laughs> let's see. Ooh, you don't know what that is? This looks like... Um, like the little, like, not not bamboo, but, like, not anywhere close to bamboo. That looks like a skinny it's celery. It's stocky, like it's bamboo. Stocky. Yeah, But stocky. that's lemongrass. Okay. Okay. 
Fair, fair. I'm excited that you've never cut into lemongrass. No. It's a fun process. I'm excited to explain it to you. Are you excited <laughs> to like take me to the fucking ER because I'm going to cut my fingers off? No, you're not. Okay, whatever. Okay, and then we have... Um, a shallot? A sh- <laughs> 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 it's fine i honestly thought it was never mind it doesn't matter i'm an idiot okay moving on we have damn a- it i should have let you answer i know um clove garlic yes, yes but it's but beautiful it's, and it's purple. beautiful and purple i haven't ever seen one of these before it's- johnson and wells what was happening god damn it okay we just had that shit produce well we didn't have any pro- Fuck it. We like, let's make a quiche today. Oh, we had a storeroom. No, we had we had that for like our pastry goods, but we did not have that for like. Oh no. It was like it was, it was like a quiche day for our savory class. Mm. We're like, go make a quiche. Like, great. Anyway. Perfect. Anyway, okay. So we got some. Ooh, oh, that smells delightful. Mm-hmm. I always get it confused. It's that Thai basil. Oh, that's what it is. Damn it. It does smell. So good. So like licorice. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we got some cilantro. Cilantro. I know what that is because I'm a Mexicano. Um, <laughs> and then we got some pure cane sugar, some thank God shredded carrots. So I don't yeah, have to cut those. those you're dishes. lucky. Those were literally the only ones they had. And a big old bowl full of pork. Not to be confused by this other shaft of daikon. Oh no. Um, and then we have different kind of pork. My Johnson & Wales knife. Because um, it's... Jay a, Woo! Yes. And then, um, like a $70,000 knife, but it's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, wasn't that much. Still paying that off right now. <laughs> Thank God it was not that much. I'd be crying. Um, okay, so now we got into some fl- some, some fluids. Yes, we some got liquids. some condiment liquids. Some liquids. fish, some, some three crabs brand sauce. Some it, fish sauce. Three it's crabs. fish sauce, yes. The brand is three crabs, yes like the trifecta of a friday night it's mm-hmm. awful three crabs <laughs> maybe you should go on more bumble dates so you don't get three <laughs> crabs every friday well i think i should go on less bumble dates if i'm oh, getting three yeah, crabs right. every friday you're right that's mm. what i meant oh and we're watching our sodium intake yes we with are some low sodium soy sauce because we're old uh-huh. I always watch my sodium shake. And we can go willy-nilly with that shit. Then we got some rice vinegar. And we got some sriracha. Don't worry. We won't use a lot of sriracha oh, we have for your little baby mouth. Rice. Yeah, I we're going to use up the old stuff because FIFO, bitch. That's first right. in, oh, first out. That's right, girl. Oh, I'm peeking. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, peaking post. means when the volume level of my voice goes into the red zone on the computer. Hashtag learning shit every day. Uh-huh. Okay, then we got some botan rice. It's short grain kale rice. Oh, I was reading the brand. You're right. Dumbass. Yes. No. I'm I was just, I was just explaining <laughs> what that means. But, uh, yes, we got some rice. Okay. Cool. And, well, and then over there by the sink, it looks like lily pads. No, they're not lily pads. We have pads. lily pads they in look this like, recipe. Oh, are we having lettuce wraps? Uh-huh. We are? But they're not called lettuce wraps. They're called sesame. I actually don't know how to say it, and the I'm going to Google that right now. Okay. All right. This this looks a little bit more intense, Brie, than uh, the Eggs Benedict that I did last time. It's less. It just has a what? lot of how ingredients. How is this less? Because it is. I guess it really is true what they say, then less is more. It's Sam. literally pronounced Sam. Sam. We're oh, making Sam spelled S S A M. Perfect. And it basically just means wrapped. It's like a oh. little wrapped food. So we're gonna make just little wrap food. lettuce wraps. Okay. And we're gonna make them really yummy. And we're also gonna make rice with them. Oh, so perfect. we're first gonna want to make our rice, Shay. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I so knew that. first, what you're gonna do, I forgot. You have to do this part, but you're gonna put a cup of rice into a bowl. You it's dry rice. Dry First. Rice. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Oh, wait. That's not right. Stand by. Got it. And then you're just going to submerge it by an inch. Of water? Of water, yeah, because you're just going to kind of stir it and strain it out. Okay. Okay. This is called rinsing the rice. Oh, because you got to rinse that rice mm-hmm. before we, we cook it. 
Just I like... love the sound effects. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I know. I have to get my shit together after a fucking hour. Okay. So should I put the water? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Mm -mm. It doesn't matter. No, first you're gonna put water covering the rice in that. Oh, see, I would have fucked it up already. You Step one, screwed I know. it up. I'm sorry, I'm not so, explaining. So just cover it right above it. Yeah, like an inch above the rice with water. With milk? <laughs> Fucking dick? With dick juice. With tick juice. Did you see that, um, those people that, I'd fill it up more. More than that? Yeah. Like almost, yeah. There? Just like, oh, like a rice, oh, inch above the rice. Oh, what inch above the rice? Holy <laughs> shit. First step, five minutes. We haven't even cooked anything. Okay. <laughs> Is that better? Sure. That's perfect. You're like, I now give you're up. You're going to stir it with your finger a little bit, and then you're going to like. This is where I need the gloves. It's rice water. You drank rice milk Dude, the other day. I baked everything with gloves on because I was I'm like, I don't like it getting under my hands. Oh, well, you are getting some shit today. Okay, so now you're going to like strain out the rice Ooh. using your hands, but not letting the rice go out. And you just want it. To, you're going to repeat what you just did till that water's not cloudy Maybe. yeah oh a rinse and repeat a ah. rinse and repeat gotcha. lather rinse repeat so, you're wa so what does it what does it do it's getting all that extra starch and then you like oh. weird little particles off of it that's pretty cool that's pretty cool mm-hmm oh i should this probably so mention <laughs> <laughs> shut up bitch get to cooking um, I should mention yes. that this recipe we're making is from one of my favorite cookbooks of all time. What's it called? Momofuku. Nice. Momofuku. 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 Do this again? Mama. Mama say, mama say. Yeah. Okay. Mama fuka, mama fa, mama kuka. Exactly. There you go. All right. I'm done trying to sing that. Trying to riff? Name. All right. Okay. I'm Momofuku by David Chang and Peter Meehan, who was like his best friend slash like fucking... All right. Writer. Anyway. Rinsed, bitch. All right, we're rinsed. Now, what you're going to do is put the rice in a medium saucepan. Make sure you have a lid. Is that what that is for? And add one cup of water. <laughs> one cup of rice and one cup of water. It's short grain, so maybe that's why. That's what it says. David Chang, I trust you. Okay, so put this in here? Yep. Put that all in there. Get it all out. And then you're going to cover it with a, a cup, cup of, water. of water. I got, I can do that. I had to be very careful that I'm not going to yank from the computer. Yank your cooter? What did you Make, just say? Just yank my cooter real hard. It's what <laughs> I do. Is that, that what you told your bumble match? I do. I'm like, I'm really nervous. And when I do that, I yank my cooter. <laughs> I thought you just told him to do that to you. I just really like the to pressure. You. <laughs> Okay, so okay, the rice America. is in the pan. Okay. Okay, so I need this again. I'm just rinsing it out. Okay, good. Make sure it's a cup. I did. Oh, okay. Don't yell at me. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just kidding. Okay, so okay. we're going to cover the pan. Stand by for sip. Sip break. Sip break. Sip break. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Maybe later. Hi, hi. <laughs> um, Shay's falling inside of her. <laughs> the sound effects of this are so good. Who the fuck is the lid? Oh, it's in the dishwasher. All the sound effects for nothing. <laughs> and then in my spare time, I went to clown college. That's how I was really good at making those special effects, you guys. <laughs> You're welcome. Are we in a folly class? Isn't that what it's called? Folly? <laughs> I've never heard of that. <gasps> it's like the sound effects are also called folly or something. I've never heard of that. I know that. Okay, what am I doing here? Okay, so you're going to turn it on and we're going to bring it to a boil. But how Medium high. high. Medium high? Once it comes to, I'd do a medium since we're only doing a cup of rice. I would think it's going to boil in two seconds. All right. Um... So, yeah, once it comes to a boil, we're going to reduce the heat to low and cook for about 20 
minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. And then we'll just set that aside. So the next step, let's start our Sam. Which one? Our Sam's. Oh, okay. Now what so I we're going to, actually, we're not going to do that. Um, so first thing what we want to do is we're going to chop, mince up our lemongrass. Oh, so what no. you're going to do is you're going to cut off the fat end. Have these been washed? Um, no. They have not. You wash them. Fine, wash them. Right? Yeah. Okay. You're right. God. You're fucking right. I am right. Who the hell knows where those stocks have been. I don't know what you've done with them. Could have been a lonely night out on the prairie for you. It was. I knew it. Disgusting. I know. So we're right. probably going to use two of those. So you're going to cut off the fat end. It's a little woody. It's kind of a fibrous little stock. So here? So just cut off a little bit of the end. Right here. Yep. And then you're going to cut off most of that frilly end. Jesus fucking Kind of where the, it changes color to like that darker green. Right about there. So, yep. Right here? Right about there. Yep. And save those for me because I'm going to make stock or something with the yeah, tops. Yeah, girl. I'm going to put them right there for you. Thank you, sister. But, now what away. you're going to do is cut them lengthwise so they're split in half. Oh, my God. I'm going to cut myself. So you could cut it. Why don't you cut it in half the other way first? This wait this way. Yep. And then slice it in half so there's smaller pieces for you so you don't slice your whole hand. And you can take off like some of those outer layers. Oh the little the little blankets. Yeah. Yeah, the little blankets. <laughs> the little That's blankets. what they're called. So then do it this way. Yep. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. It's fun. You can hold it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Sister, if you're listening to this, shut the fuck up. Perfect. <gasps> See, I told you I could do. <laughs> Draw my screen. These are really pretty though inside. Aren't they it's got smell like them. wispies of. Oh, that smells dope, girl. It's like, it's like purple and yellow and green inside there. It's oh, so yeah. pretty. It's like yeah. a rainbow of the stalks. Look at you slicing that lemongrass. Thank you, Johnson and Wales. Thank you, Brie, for telling you what to do right now, bitch. I know. I'm just joking. Get it right. Get it tight. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. All right. Now you're going to flip them over on their Wait. cut side down. Oh. I'm not done. Oh, God. I'm okay. jumping ahead. I'm going three miles an hour, so it's not your fault. That sound... It's pretty sexy. Okay. So now we're going to put all those lemongrasses. Let's do like three stock, three little pieces. You're going to put them on cut side down on your cutting like board. Like this? Yep. Boom. And boom. Yep. Okay. And now you're going to use the the back of your knife so that not the sharp side, that like other this? side. So hold it like you're going to cut something. But yeah. Now you're going to bang the lemongrass with the back of the knife up and down it. So it kind of like breaks it up. This seems very silly. It's just one way to do it. It kind of breaks it up, lets the oils come out a little bit. It makes it easier. Yeah, with the wrong end. It also helps just till it's a little tender. That's probably good. You can do the rest of them now. Or, I mean, just kind of makes it because now it smells all lemongrassy in here. Mm -hmm. It smells like a goddamn Aveda store in here. Now, after you do all that, you're just going to mince it really fine. So really nice, small. So what I would do is slice it really thin first all the way through, and then you can just, like, rough chop it from there. Wait, you know what I mean? I think, like, so good. Yep. So just, just really this way? thin slices. Yep. Thinner. Oh, gosh. Okay. Might be hard. I don't know. I haven't had this knife sharpened in a hot fucking minute. Probably like the last time since I've been at Vino, to be honest with you. I really wanted to challenge you today with the You chopping. did. Damn, girl. You were all about it. I feel like I'm on that really shitty show, like, Worst Cooks in America. <laughs> no. I'm make sure I'm not having that on Look the at your little chops of I know. lemongrass. They look so beautiful. Next, what you're going to do, Shay, is you're going to roughly chop some shallots. What is ruffle chopping? Ruffle chop. Did you Roughly. 
<laughs> so that's a, a very little fancy chop. It's where you make a shallot look like a ruffle potato chip. So, so good luck like with this? that. Yeah, well, perfect. I would chop, like, do, like, now go back and forth with your knife. Just mix them all up. Mix it all up and chop it, chop it so it's a little smaller pieces. So and just till they're choke. nice and small. So we don't choke. Yeah, you want those to be I'm nice and choking. small. What's next? So chopping the shallots, roughly chopped. So you're going to mince them probably if we're not going to use the food processor. How do I do that? So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, the that end off that the this? little sprout comes on. Yeah, take that off with your knife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, everyone, I just like try to pull it off because I'm a fucking air turd. So it's fine. <laughs> All right, so take that little... And off. Like this? Yep. And wipe your knife off a little with that lemongrass. Wait, with this? Uh, or, I mean, just. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. <laughs> I meant just wipe the lemongrass off the knife, <laughs> but Shay just wiped the random <laughs> stalk of lemongrass onto the knife. <laughs> with the lemongrass <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I need to use my words properly. Especially with me. Well, now I'm just going to. All right, with your finger, wipe the lemongrass off so it's clean. Now with a stalk of lemongrass. Yes. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to slice that shallot in half through the little root end. Like this. Lengthwise, yes. Now you're going to peel it the rest of the way. Ooh, like this? Yep. Just stripping it off. Mm -hmm. Just strip it Just down. Just stripping it down. Okay. Get that. Get that peel off your cutting board. Getting it off. Oh, you very did. good at cleaning. You know. And I think we're going to need all the shallots, so you might as well do the same thing to the next one so it's ready for you to just chop them all. Okay. Do I, did I fuck that up? Nope. Okay. <laughs> It's fine. Be fine. Okay, so now that you peeled all your shallots, what you're going to do is with the tip of your knife, like you're going to face, yes, but you're going to face the this shallot with the cut end towards you, so like that. Mm -hmm. Now, not going through the whole shallot, you're going to go right up to that root end and slice little slices that way, yeah. But one, you want to go back so you don't go through the so I wanna, shallot. I want to go like Oh yep. my god, this you had to pick this task for me. I did. So many cuts. It's like a test. So just all the way so down. Couple, yep, all the way down, but not all the way to the back part of the shallot. Because like you want to keep it all together. Like a little fan. Mm -hmm, like that. Like an app an apple. An apple. Yeah, you could just do like one more of those. Oh, like that? Yeah. Just like perfect. three little cuts. Yep. Oh, okay. That's just gonna help it become nicely. Nicerly minced. N nicerly minced. Oops, it kind of went through. That's okay. So now you're going to do a little quarter turn so that the shallot end is like a quarter turned from you like that. And now you're going to chop it into little pieces to make little minces. So like... Like that? Yeah, nice small slices so that it's nice small little yeah. minces. Oh my God. And then you're probably going to just chop How through that again. That isn't that adorable? It's so cute. It's so adorable. Now what? Okay, so now you're going to... Cut those up a little more? Yeah, just chop them right through. And now it's mixing of the meat time. You're going to get Ooh. your hands in that meat, girl. Okay, so now what you're going to do <laughs> is take your ground pork. Ooh, and you're going to put it in that big silver bowl because that's where you're going to mix it in. And then you're going to use the bowl that you just dumped that into, and we're going to mix. We're going to put our lemongrass shallots huh? in that bowl. You're going to put a half a tablespoon of salt in there in that little bowl huh? with the shallots and lemongrass. So a tablespoon and a teaspoon of fish, of fish sauce. Of fish. <laughs> Sometimes I stutter as, as a 30-year-old. I've stuttered since I was like a three-year-old, so, you know, there's that. So. Cheers to that, Sam. Jesus fucking Christ. Christ on a cracker. Oh. 
Uh, yep, smells like crabs. Smells like fish sauce. <laughs> or a hippie that hasn't bathed in a week. <laughs> Ooh. All right. I love it. All right. So we're going to do a tablespoon. And a teaspoon of that. You're going to want to keep that out because we're going to use more fish sauce. Don't worry. Are you sure? It's pretty pungent. Whoops. Oh, yeah. There you go. You're going to do a tablespoon like of sriracha. Fish. So that's all. Only a tablespoon. That's a baby. It's a, that's good. That's you can do good. a little extra if you want. Dude, that smells rancid. I don't like that. Oh, I love fish sauce. It is a funky, funky smell, but it... Pee. You mean the... It's pee. Let me smell that one. I haven't smelled the three crabs in a while. How can you not I haven't smelled my here. three crabs in a while. You smelled your three crabs. Oh, yeah. That smells like fucking fish sauce. Yeah, no shit, dude. Yeah, it's funky as fuck. Funk is a word for it. Okay. All right. And now you're going to do... You're going to mix that all together with a fork or spoon or whatever you want to use. Look like at that fish sauce working there. Huh? And now you're going to put that into this? your pork. Oh. Okay. Now I have to squeeze it with my hands, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know about your weird uh, pet peeve of food in your hands. You see me bake shit with like, my fucking gloves on? <laughs> I I'm dead noticed. serious. I'm fucking serious. <laughs> it's because I couldn't. You did do that. It's because now I, that I'm thinking about it, you totally did bake with your fucking gloves. Because I could never like get the smell off, and I felt like I was like it was smelling and everything I was doing. So if I would make, I should have brought you gloves. I, I'm being a weirdo. Anyway. Okay. So now you're gonna mix that all together. Yeah, stay by. Take a drink first. Good. I'm not gonna fucking meat off my hand for days. Mm mm. You want to be working those seasonings into that meat. Oh, wait. First, you need to add um, good thing was like, a quarter cup of flour. Oh, good call. All right. And then you're going to work it all. Pop you. And kind of sprinkle it in there. Sprinkle it? Spranks. How's that doing? I feel like this is done. Okay, so sh let's shut it off. Stand by. I'm going to check it. Yeah. All right. And I'm going... Okay. Oh, it's getting all under my nails. It's very... How do people kill people? I just don't even understand it. I don't even like put my hands into like fucking raw meat. Not that it's like the same as killing somebody, but... You know. I don't know. I just feel like it's... It's gross, okay? <laughs> It's just gross. <laughs> it's so gross. It's just so gross. Uh-oh, I peed. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you peed. I, peed. I peed. I just peed right now. I just now. peed. Like, you need to go so outside. So, it, once it's mixed, you don't want to overwork it, but you want it to be all mixed together. So, yeah. Okay, now it smells pretty fucking dope. Right? I think. It's a nice... Fish sauce is, like, a great additive to That's things. That's more kind of thing, yeah. Yeah. Except okay. we might be making a fish sauce vinaigrette of sorts. So oh God, sorry about really. that. It's okay. so fucking good, though. I bet it is. I'm not. I'm, I'm not even thinking that you're lying. So now you're gonna turn your. Um, after you've mixed that up. Yeah. You're gonna go wash your little handies. I'm just watching. <laughs> Make sure my... you watch your cord. I'm not that drunk. Ugh. It smells like my cat's been sick. <laughs> God. <laughs> I mean, it looks really good, you guys. It really does. It's but the fish sauce. It's the fish sauce. It's Once it's all going to get all been cooking, I bet it's going to smell fucking dope. But right now, it smells like my cat's been sick. For days. <laughs> Actually, Colonel is sick. He is. But like the 1990s sick where he's mm -hmm. dope. Yeah. Like fat. Yeah. P-H-A-T. P-H-A-T. So now you're going to turn your uh, big old pan on. Two. To medium high. And you want to get some oil. 
I guess that's more Megan, huh? Uh, what oil? Like, uh, canola. Does it matter? Yeah, no. Okay, I was just going to do, like, olive oil. oil. Yeah. I don't want to do canola. Yeah, that's fine. Is that fine to do olive oil? Sure, we're just going to use a little oh, for today. Oh, careful. Now I know what a dog feels like on a leash line. <laughs> uh, like, ah! Shay just got caught on her giant um, cord that is on her portable My microphone. Leash. Just say what it is. It's a fucking leash. Oh, it's you're right. <laughs> it's your here? leash. Oh, there it is. You want to put about uh, half. How much? Yeah, just drizzle it. That's good. That's plenty. <laughs> ah! Ah! Don't do that. Okay, so now we're going to wait till bottle. that heats up. Okay. Then what? We're just, we can put this over here. Yep. Oh. So now what we're going to do is clean off your little cutting board. Stand by. And we're going to fucking chop and peel some daikon. Don't mind if I do. Once you're done, I think we're, our pan's going to be nice and hot. Perfect. Maybe. I, oh, yeah, it is. You ever cook ground beef tacos, Shay? <gasps> Only 75 times in my life. Well, that's kind of what you're going to do with this pork. I kind of figured. So you'll layer it all in there, and we're then you'll just break again. it into kind of bigger pieces. What? We're using this again. Yes. Okay. You will use your cutting board and knife. So... What I like to do... Time out. I don't know why these are, like, less filling than the daiquiris were. Do you notice that? Mm. Like, last time, like, I could only get, like, one... Of, I mean, I know we were, like, in, like, having them by, like, the fucking gallon, but they don't seem as filling. I don't know. Maybe they're not as sweet. They're, sad. they're sweet, though. I think because you put more booze in it, which is fine. Anyway. Perfect. All right. Okay, so you're going to layer it into an even layer in the bottom, and then you're going to use, like, a... You could, I mean, you can do it with your hand. You don't have to, though. And then you can, whatever you're going to use to break it, that'll work. Again, Jesus fucking Christ. Sorry if you hate this. Now flatten it out. Know. Yep, keep putting it in. You put, oh, keep putting it in? Yeah, put all your meat in. Oh, you so I'm just like making like a, like a, like a floor. Yes. Like a like a pelvic floor of meat. Yeah. Got uh, it. Yep, that's exactly what you're gonna do. That's what the episode's gonna be called. The pelvic floor of meat. Of Sam's meat. Oh my god. Sam? Who the fuck is Sam? Sam! That's what we're making, Sam. Oh, I was like, who is Sam? We're not making Sam witches. We're making Sam. Well, you're like of Sam's meat. I was like, who the fuck is Sam? You obviously don't like him very much. For cooking his meat. We are. Or her. So Sam. I, mean, I don't know her life. So, 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 so. so yeah, let that brown a little bit, and then you'll start breaking it up. So give it a couple minutes. Meanwhile, why don't you uh, cut your daikon radish in, like, a quarter of it? You won't have to peel the whole thing. <gasps> Ooh, thank God. Yeah, cut off a quarter Everyone of a knows piece how I get of your... Long you, you're things. ready to get your daikon. Yeah. You know um, how that shit go. So about a little more. Up, 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 up. That's good. Nope, oh, down a little. That's what she he said. Down. He? That's good. There it is. That'll be plenty. That'll, that'll do just fine. So now you're going to peel it. And what do you think, Shay? Should we do whole rounds or should we do crescent moons? Well, the whole Half rounds moons, a I mean. Easier. <laughs> Actually, they're not. Really? Because you don't have a flat surface. Oh. All right, then let's go with the easier option. Yeah, me. so first peel your little. With this? Yep, with a peeler. Yes, that well, is correct. I didn't know that you could be like, well, you just put it under your fingernails, <laughs> you ass wife. <laughs> Dude, we You're are right. All, you do peel going, ginger with spoons. We're going way back with the fucking. Wait, what? You peel ginger with a spoon. That's the best way to peel ginger. What so. What do you suppose ginger with a spoon? It's way easier because it's so fibrous that like the spoon just peels the skin right, right off. But, but if you use a peeler to peel ginger, it like gets caught in your peeler. But how do you do that? You I've just use the edge before. of the spoon. Like the like the like the side of a spoon, like the fucking like edge. You're gonna have to show me that. That's a good little trick. I think I got it. It's a little tricky because you can't see because it's fucking so white. It's so white. 
Thank like goodness. a banana now. So now you're going to cut that it like That would be an price. actual amazing prank on somebody. Oh, yeah. Because it looks like a fucking banana. It does look like a banana. A very excited banana. But so I, we can probably little. break that up apart, the meat now, that it's getting sizzly. And just a little bit. You don't want to go crazy and just keep browning it up. I don't want to flip it over, though. You will, yes. But so yeah. just leave it like that? Yeah. Just let it get a little more brown because it doesn't look like it's brown on the other side yet, right? Okay. No. Okay. So now cut that lengthwise in half so you'll have, yes. So you'll have a little half moon. And now put both of those flat side down and you can cut both of them at once. So, yep, flip it, the cut side, yep, like that. Now you'll do nice thin. Spooning. As thin as slices as you could get, Shay. Thin! <laughs> Thinner! Just kidding. She doesn't <laughs> even cut anything yet. Just my spirit. <laughs> and some flatulence. Just kidding. Perfect. Like that? Yes, that's beautiful, Shay. Look at those. <gasps> Thank you, Good Shay. thing you don't have to cut the carrots. Jesus fucking Christ. Nice and thin, yeah. Meanwhile, check your meat if you need to. Can't multitask. Yes, you can. Yeah, that's a little brown. You can move it around now. Now just cook it like you would Hamburger taco meat. meat. Yay. Oh, yeah. It's got, it got a little brown. That's good. We like some caramelization. Oh, we do, do we? Yes, we do. That's delicious flavor. Sometimes I get mixed up with caramelization and burnt. Oh, that's fine. You know, like you and bacon dates. Oh, yeah. I, I like you. to bake and I like to burn my bacon dates. Dude, now this smells like Good a thing fucking, I don't work there anymore. This smells like a goddamn egg roll. And I'm pretty excited about it. Mm. Yes, it does. It doesn't smell like my cat's diarrhea no more, you guys. <sighs> it's good. Insert elevator music. All right, so now what we're going to do is you're going to take this um, white bowl. Okay. I still have this one to go. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Wait, out. don't do that in there. Oh, okay. You, I mean, I was we'll use this one. This is a clean one? Yeah. Well, they're both clean, I think. They're both clean. Okay. We do. Yeah, that's fine. Just put them in there. Eh. Check your meat. Checking the meat. Oh, yeah, that's looking fucking caramelized and yummy. Yeah, it is. I feel like maybe we could, Yo. in a in a minute or two, just turn it off and just, like, let, let it, it hang chill. out. Yeah. Yeah. And cook. It's still a little pink in there. Yeah. So. Let's see a couple more mins. Yep. Little mini mins. Okay, okay. Now what? so now you're going to put some carrots, about equal parts carrots that there are. Daikon. This is the easiest part of the whole thing. Yeah, you just have to peel them back and put them in because they're already cut for you. Perfect. Now what you're going to do is you're going to measure out a half a cup yes. of rice vinegar. Yes, use my use first FIFO. That's right. Five foe for life. Oh. Oh, we're going to fucking forget. We're. There it is. Half a cup. Half a cup. Half a cup. Actually, let's do three quarters of a cup. Oh, there's some rice in here. Perfect. It's fine. Pickled rice is really good. We're making a quick pickle brine right now. And now you're going to add uh, about two tablespoons of sugar. In this? Yep. Damn. Okay. Let's start with one tablespoon of sugar. Good call. Good call. Brilliant. Just okay. a tablespoon of sugar. Quick, go pickles. Your pickles. <laughs> um, and then you're going to do about a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of salt. A, a half a teaspoon? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, actually a quarter teaspoon. Oh, good thing I asked. 
And now you're going to fucking whisk that all up, mix it all up till all whisk that stuff it, dissolves. Whisk it or mix you it. can just mix it until it dissolves. Then you're going to pour that over your pickles. I think it's good. Pour it right on your pickles. And you just want to submerge those in there. If they're not completely submerged, you'll be okay. But you want to try to submerge them as much as possible. There you go. All right, next step, we're making our fish sauce vinaigrette. And then we're going to eat. Sweet. Now what do I do? So now you're going to set that shit aside. Perfect. Now what you're going to need is a fourth a cup of fish sauce. Yeah, no. Yeah. <gasps> what in, guys? We're almost there. A fourth? Yep. This is probably the fanciest I've ever cooked. Then you're going to do, yep, put it in your bowl. Then you're going to do a fourth a cup of water. Perfect. Boom. Okay. Uh, two tablespoons of rice vinegar. One lime juice. You're going to do a quarter cup of sugar. Holy shit balls. Let's do a quarter cup. Yeah. Let's do three tablespoons. That's a little less. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay. You know what? Just I'm all do a quarter sticky. Cup. I don't like it. Oh, yeah. Don't knock your shit over. <laughs> there we go. I got you. Oh, thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Let's and then after you do out. that, you're going to mince a clove of garlic. <gasps> I've never done that before. Okay. You haven't? No. What? So, would you say three tablespoons? Perfect. Uh, mix that up. Well, first you're going to mince a garlic. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a cl take two, a clove out, two cloves of that beautiful purple yeah, little it's pretty gorgeous. organic garlic. It's pretty gorgeous. It's like little baby garlic. It's Look so it little and so tender. How cute it is. It's like a little surprise. It is. Did you know, guys, a little fun fact, if your garlic is sprouting at home and you're like, oh, no, I have to throw it away, you could plant that shit and grow more garlic. Boom. That's Do awesome. it. We actually planted some of ours, and it's growing real good. Okay, now what do I do? Oh, you're going to uh, use the side of your yeah. knife, like lay it flat on your, on your um, garlic clove, like and you're going to use your, your uh, fist, and you're going to... Bang it right where that garlic would be with your knife. You're going to smash it. I'm going to stab myself. You're not. Just make sure your blade's not up. Okay, make sure your thanks. blade's a little down. There like you go. This? Yep. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Now do that with the other one. <laughs> you look so scared. I am. Sometimes I'm afraid I'm like go on my knife. Okay. First clove. Oh, shit. Okay. Now okay, what do I so do? Now you're going to peel. So now you're going to be able to peel First it with your hands, with your fingers now, not with the knife. <laughs> now peel it off really easy, all that skin. <laughs> so peel this all off. Yep. Sometimes and then it, you're going to just chop it up and mince it. This makes me kind of forget that I'm on doing this. I know. Okay. So just mince it up. <clears throat> yep. Once you've minced your garlic. You're going to add it to your little fish sauce sugar mixture, and you're going to mix it all up, and now we're ready to fucking eat. Wait, which one is the, this one? Yep. But we still have the flowers and stuff. Oh, you want to pick the flowers off so they're ready for the garnish? Is I was just going to have do? us pick our stuff oh, off. Oh, we'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, that we sounds way easier. Ourselves. Okay. All Let right. Just, yeah. And now you could clean up, and we're Let ready me. to assemble our lettuce wraps. Perfect. Our Sam's. Okay, so we're going to eat, and then we're going to tell you if I did good. Yes, and then I'm going to talk about science. Perfect. So, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take our le – we got bib lettuce over there, so I cut it up so the leaves are nice and big still, but there are small little leaves, so they're perfect size. Perfect. 
And we're just going to put our meat in there. We're going to top it with our pickled veggies that we just quick pickled. We're going to put a little sauce on it. And then if we want, we can put soy and some sriracha. And we're also going to garnish it with our chive blossoms for that little oniony oh. flavor. Also put some Thai basil and cilantro on there. Boom, and we're going to eat it. Boom, boom, boom. All, All right. right. We did it. Well, what what happened? What did we just do? We just oh ate. yeah, that's right. We just ate some delicious Sam. I am no some just Sam. Sammies. Sammies, but they were like delicious Sams. They were yes, Shay, you did great. Thank you. I didn't burn or fuck anything up. So no, you didn't. It was a good and day. It was a delicious dinner. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you, Shay. Thank you for sharing your talents. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say share my talents, but, you know, whatever. But, yeah, it was, that was fun. That was, I didn't chop my fingers and. Nope, you now chopped I'm lemongrass just, for the first time. Yeah, but now I'm and just. And minced garlic for the first time. Yeah, what that was, the fuck? I know, that was kind of sad. I'm not going to lie to you. It's fine. No, it was sad. But I. It just, was it's, very. It is what it is. It's, it's fine. Um. But now I'm just sitting here with a fucking full belly and a you know, cat in my lap like a goddamn villain. Yes. Like a goddamn 30-year-old. Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. it's time for science. Okay? All right. Yeah. And today we're going to be talking about the science of meditation. That's a good one. It is. Because I feel like after eating all that food, I'm in a meditative state. But, uh, and it can't, you, that's probably true. Yeah. Or just a food coma. That too. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking about what about meditation today? Um, I don't meditate and I want to start and I want, I know that I need to. What, to calm your brain? To calm my fucking chatter brain. Like, I literally, like, I even have problems going to sleep because I'm just like, oh, blah, 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 oh yeah, blah, 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 that's blah, not a problem for me, for sure. You know? Yeah. That's um, more of a problem for you. But yeah, that's not, I don't have that issue. I, I just conk out usually. So, but then sometimes when I have bad insomnia, it's real bad. Yeah. Or like, a lot of times too, like, I just, I don't, I don't know. I just know it has a lot of benefits. It does. And I'm going to talk to you about some of those and just some oh, of the studies they've done with people um, and just kind of like what it's all about and like what it entails. And it's really scary to people sometimes, but it doesn't have to be so scary. No, it doesn't. It's it's I do know like the people that I've talked to that have that do it regularly is they just are just all about it. And mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, I've, I've done it a couple times, but I just, I just I've, can't sit still. Yeah, I, I can't either. I'm just like, I've, I'm just like, okay, I'm bored and I and can't I, even fucking clear my mind. Yeah. And then also sometimes I'm like, okay, I need to, I like overthink it. I overthink meditation, which is like the opposite. Right. I'm like, am I breathing right? Do. Are you? Yeah, right. exactly. No, I'm breathing too fast. Yeah. So I'm like, I got to get the mail. So I wanted to just read a little bit more about benefits and things of it. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's why I'm sharing it with you guys today. No, I know guys, you get a lot of segment of science this week. Got a little what? I said, you guys get a lot of Brie this week. You do. It's good. Hello. Okay. So most people, when they think of meditating, they think of, you know, Buddhist monks on the top of a mountain in Tibet um, or something like that. Something super stereotypical. Or super and... like hippy dippy, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, and so one like monk life isn't super like, like, yes, they're always in a tranquil state, but like they, wear they those live dope in robes too. Yeah. And they, but they live like they do everything themselves. They usually live in nothing more than a dirt floor, with a dirt floor. Um, so this, I was reading about this one monastery and, um, upon entering, you, uh, their mud brick homes, you find no tables or chairs. They just have a long platform bed. 
um, which will sleep a family of eight. What? Um, and I mean, that doesn't sound like the easiest way to live, but it's like, how do these people possess such inner calm conditions? Right. In place in a condition that we would call less than ideal. So, um, I guess it all just depends on what your idea of less, less, exactly those words. And so, um, when these monks like cook, they sow, they plow their fields. When they do anything, they're, they're doing so in a tranquil state. And as an approach to life, they weave meditation in to like every action of their day. And that's why they're able to do these things with such calm and tranquil mindsets and yeah. Um, so what can we learn from these practices? So it's pretty, uh, it's a romantic notion to quit everything and join a Tibetan, a Tibetan monk, a Tibetan, monas- Tibetan, Tibetan monk monastery and go live up on a mountain w- and just meditate all day. But right. reality is we can't all fucking do that, obviously. And we no. shouldn't all do that. No. Um, but you don't need to quit your job. You don't need to give up all your possessions. You don't need to spend like 30 years of chanting. You don't got to sell your donkey. Nope. Or your burro. Or your burro. Or your cat. Don't. No, I would never um, sell you. Not a lot of recent research. A lot of recent research is indicating that meditating brings about dramatic effects in as little as like a 10 minute session of just hmm. meditating. So okay. that's something I feel like I could tackle eventually right still i can't there's no way like just like being still today and not thinking no for 10 minutes i can't do it for like three minutes it's like oh no what am i not about right so um so yeah you can get reap the benefits in as little as a 10 minute session but it obviously it takes practice to right. start doing that and that's what this is it's a practice right and you just get it's like a building a muscle basically so several studies say that subjects who meditated for a short time showed increased alpha waves, which are the relaxed brain waves, and decreased anxiety and depression. Nice. Um, oh, in a book called What is Meditation by Rob Nairn. 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 He talks about this um, as he talks about this. He talks about meditation as being a state of bare attention. Um, He explains it's a highly alert and skillful state of mind because it requires one to remain psychologically present and with whatever happens in and around one without adding to or subtracting from it in any way. So it's just being fucking present and just like... And sometimes that's that's super hard to That's do another too. thing too. Yeah. I think a lot of my memory issues are because I'm not present. Yeah, because I'm just, like, oh, blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah. oh what like, am I doing? Yeah. I'm driving a car. Perfect. Like, driving a car? Drake. Oh, oh god. Okay. Yeah. Um so the physical act of meditation generally consists of simply sitting quietly, focusing on one's breath, a word or a phrase. Um, however, a meditator can also be walking or standing. It doesn't just have to be you sitting in silence with like some like, oh, music playing. doesn't have to be that. Yeah. But I'm sure most people know that. Um, there are many traditions and countless ways to practice meditation. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and according to, uh, psychologist Roger Thompson, um, he's, has a private practice in Chicago. He's a Zen meditator. Um, and there's a lot of people are, he talks about how like people are always worried about how they're not doing it right or, you right. know, whatever. And he just says, if you're feeling better at the end, you're probably doing it right. So it's like, there's so like, it's kind yeah. of a personalized thing. It's like, whatever works for you. I think it people, seems like, like the people are just getting their head about like, well. I don't have like this many years be- of that A, B, C, and D grandmaster has yeah. and people get intimidated by it, but it's really is it's not. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. It doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't. Um, it's like anybody's religion. There's no right or wrong way to do it. And yeah. And it's also, it can be really difficult. It's difficult for most people to overcome that internal chatter. Right. And that's the biggest. Right. At least for me too. Like. 
that's why I haven't practiced yeah. it more because I'll, pra- I'll try to do up. it. Yeah. 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 I'll try to do it like once and then I'll get discouraged because I can only sit still for like literally a minute or two. Maybe well, two you know, minutes. Like that's what just, you just have to go. Okay. I'm going to sit still for a minute and then you build up to that. Yeah. Give yourself small goals. Like I exercise. Know. I know. That's the thing too. It's just like. And then just go eat. You know, you okay wait with dairy the queen after that and you're fine. And it's fine. You're and like, then you just I keep exercise building it for up. a minute. So fuck off I'm everybody. I'm fucking good. Um, so seeking methods for quieting that internal chowder and reducing stress are what attract most people to meditation. Um, it's a very effective stress reducer. Um, and if someone's struggling with feelings of anxiety, he or she may benefit from its calming aspects. And it's absolutely facilitative of mental health because it brings about a higher level of self-acceptance and insight about oneself. Nice. But beware, it could actually raise your level of anxiety if there are certain feelings you're not owning. So in other words, there's nowhere to hide when you're practicing bare attention. And this, for some people, is both good and bad news. So basically, it's like, if you're going to meditate, you better be fucking true with yourself because it could right. bring up some shit that you oh, yeah. I'm are sure, like <laughs> suppressing down right? in there like that you're like, oh, I'm fine. Like Matt. past traumas and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a lot of people just think if as long as they're bit, keep busy, like they won't think about other things and like. Yeah, that's what most, especially Americans, do. I feel like they like their. We just dates. run around and work, mm-hmm. work, work, and then we just suppress our feelings. Then we kill each other. So it's great. Yep. And they're like, "Hey, just have this." Uh, you just take a pill for this white claw or whatever drink you're drinking, and uh, you're fine. Yeah, that's it. I don't need to pay attention to that shit. That's nonsense. That's white noise. So um, there's also many more benefits of meditation other than. Um, just reducing anxiety and reducing stress. Um, it also can help reverse heart disease, which is the number one killer in the United States. Um, and it also can lower your blood, your blood pressure. So, um, it decreases not only during meditation, but also over time in individuals who meditate regularly. Oh, and these are like all, all these things I'm about to talk about have been, it's like different studies I read about, and these are just like little clip, little clip note versions. But city bits. Um, these are all studies that have been done over the last, I don't know, 30, 40 years. Oh, nice. Um, some with like 3,500 people, some with like 30 people, but it's just like multiple ones with different right. that they're trying to see all the different benefits from this meditation. Nice. Um, So, um, it also can help people better relate to one another. Um, psychologists say that they can tell when clients are following through with meditation, um, because they seem calmer, less angry, more self-reflective, more loving. Um, so why aren't more people taking up this practice then? Um, and time and one of the main reasons is because it puts us in the middle of our cell. This is what, um, The PhD, Mr. Thompson, says, I talked about earlier, he says, because it puts us in the middle of ourselves, which is not always where we want to be. Often we want to fix things rather than accept them the way they are. Many of us feel as though we can't afford the time and energy to meditate when, in fact, we can't afford not to. Right. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, I can't take fucking five minutes. Like, right. It's crazy. Like I can sit on Instagram for like thirty minutes at a time, but I can't sit in silence for five minutes. Like, come on, Brianna. But also, I can't because, be- because your brain's not. I mean, your brain. You can mindlessly scroll for five minutes, but you. I mean, you have to mindlessly scroll in your mind. You're right. That's no fun. You're right. Also, you can't be hard on yourself because you can't meditate. You just have to practice. That was me yeah. talking to myself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh- <laughs> Um, experts also feel that meditation's effectiveness has to do with putting aside attachment to one's ego. Um, one doctor, Mr. Epstein says that when you look directly at a star at night, it's difficult to see, but when you look away slightly, it comes into focus. 
I find it to be the same way with the ego and meditating. When one zeroes in on a sense of self through a practice of meditation, the self-important ego paradoxically becomes elusive. You become more aware that you are interconnected with other beings and you can better put your own worries into the proper perspective. So we should all just try to do that and just help Get save off. each other in our selves. So a couple more benefits from meditation. It lengthens your attention span, which is something that I could fucking use some which help with. Which makes sense because if you're like you're not, you know, really wanting because you don't have the attention span to do it. But if you slowly acquire that ability, that would make sense that your ability to focus on something longer mm -hmm. would increase. Yes, exactly. Hashtag logic. So focused attention meditation is like weightlifting for your attention span. It helps increase the strength and endurance of your attention. And even meditating for a short period of time may benefit you, like I said before. And one study found that four days of practicing meditation may be enough to increase attention span. Yeah, that's actually pretty short. For yeah. Maybe I should try it and report back. You should. Um, this is Brie Falmeyer reporting. Reporting for duty. So it also may reduce age-related memory loss. I didn't mean to graze your leg like that, by the way. Oh, thank you. It was my kneecap. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Playing kneecappies. Ooh. <laughs> so it may... <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's 10 o'clock. I'm pretty pooped. Is um, it only 10? I thought it was 11. Oh, thank God it's not 11. My God. So... Um, it may reduce age-related memory loss. There's this method of med meditation called curtain kriya. I don't know how to say it. Um, but it combines a mantra or a chant with repetitive motion of the fingers to focus thoughts. An improved participant's ability to perform memory tasks and multiple studies of age-related memory loss. Which, like, that's really cool. I, like, I've... Oh. My Nana is in a nursing home. Like, she's in hospice right now. Mm -hmm. And, like, she's been in a nursing home for the last couple of years. And, like, I know they have, like, activities and stuff. But it's, like, bingo. And yeah, fucking. They don't, it doesn't exercise it's like, your goddamn brain. Why don't you guys brain? fucking teach them how to meditate? Why don't right? you teach them how to, like, why don't you take them fucking outside? I know. It just <sighs> sucks because that whole fucking industry is understaffed and. Oh, I, speaking of meditation, this doesn't have to do with age related memory loss, but I did see something like a week ago that they're starting to, um, instead of have detention, like have like meditation classes. Well, that's actually really smart. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh yeah, so it is John smart. doesn't want to go pick up a fucking gun when his teacher reprimands him. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's like. This shit don't work no more, people. We got to change some shit. So yeah. I thought that was really cool that they're doing that. Is that is actually pretty cool. And implementing yeah. meditation instead of you have to sit and stare at a wall and think about what you did, you stupid idiot. It's true. Did you like, ever get attention? I don't think I ever did. I did. In high school, I did because my Spanish teacher hated me. Oh. And I talked a lot. And Shocking. she didn't like me. Mrs. Well, Todd, she was insane. Well, maybe she was this like blonde German Spanish, woman who fine. taught Spanish. She was a blonde German woman? Yeah. She oh. was a dumb bitch. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Todd. I'm sure you're listening to this, but yeah. you ruined my life. Totally. It was. F I felt cool that I got detention, though. Really? Yeah. I never got detention. I was well, aren't you Miss Goody Two Shoes? I kind of was. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Pretended like I wasn't because I listened to my Fallout Boy and my angsty music. <laughs> if I could find you now, things would get better. That's the yellow card. That's yellow card. That's emo, so it's fine. Doesn't matter. It's <laughs> God damn it. It's Just not read, Fallout Boy. Just read the damn meditation packet. <laughs> Um, so it could also improve sleep, um, because again, it helps redirect those racing or runaway thoughts that often lead to insomnia. Um, it can help control your pain. There's been a lot of studies that, um, people with the same causes of pain 
uh, will be in a group or whatever. And like half of them will meditate. The other half won't. And all the people, all the meditators, um, it would feel better. showed a greater ability to cope with their pain and experienced reduced sensation of pain. Damn. All of them. All of them. Yeah. All of them. All of them. All of them. Um, so yeah, that's another awesome thing it can help you do. So there's Dope. two main types of meditation, like in terms of like the kind of meditation it is, which I guess is what a type is. Type. <laughs> yeah. So what the first one is focused attention meditation, which concentrates attention on a single object, thought, sound, or visualization visualization. It emphasizes <laughs> verbal meditation verbal meditation of the mouth is when you speak properly um what it emphasizes ridding your mind of attention and distraction meditation may focus on breathing a mantra or a calming sound um the other type of meditation is open monitor monitoring meditation which encourages broadening broadened awareness of all aspects of your environment train of thought and sense of self this may include becoming aware of thoughts feelings or impulses that might normally try you might normally try to suppress so just a couple different examples of meditations like walking meditation it can calm your mind when you focus on your strides and the movement of taking steps rather than focusing on your breath um well, that's pretty cool. Walking in a labyrinth is a centuries-old practice of contemplation common among many spiritual faiths, including Catholicism. That's weird. Yeah. I never knew that. We never had a labyrinth at St. Patrick's Elementary. What the fuck? We have a labyrinth at my work. You do? Yeah. Do you get lost in it? No, because you can just walk right through it. Oh. It's like stones on a ground on the ground and then like it's you know that's you're supposed to like walk the path it's did you ever play labyrinth the like marble game i thought you were gonna say like the the david with david bow and the muppets (laughs) did you ever play labyrinth i played labyrinth when i was him for halloween two years ago um jareth the goblin king remember that fucking voodoo um i I never played Labyrinth with the marbles, whatever the fuck you're talking about. It was like a big fucking maze and had all the little holes in it. And then you had to like move. Oh, 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 You had to like yeah. turn the little knobs. Yep. I know exactly. To like yep. move the little uh, yep. fucking thing. Yeah. You know? You guys know what Labyrinth is? Let us know if you know what Labyrinth is. Uh, they probably Or don't. Uh, or don't. So another um, form of meditation is called kata. And it's a formal practice of martial arts, which includes Tai Chi. Um, And the motions of this practice are so complex, it becomes impossible to think of other things. Allowing for profound meditative focus. Kind of like yoga. Boom. Um, Listening mindfully to music um, is also another form of meditation. Especially music without lyrics. It produces the same impacts of, of meditation by allowing you to be transported by the sounds away from stray and extrane- extraneous thoughts. Um, another meditation that's pretty, I feel like anyone can do any time of the day, any day of the week, um, is daily task meditation. And we do this a lot. As little chefs and bakers, I feel like. We do. um, Where you take the process of a task, like doing dishes, cooking a meal, or getting dressed, and focus on it in a way, focus on it the way a kung fu master might focus on his or her forms. Which, like when I make pasta, that's like super meditative to me. Or like, there you go. Certain, you know, tedious, like some of those like kind of tedious, like tasks in the kitchen are like meditative. No, I completely agree. Because you get perfectly slicing this eggplant. You also get like through this zone and it's just, it's a meditative state. Yeah, it's very zen. But do you want to hear my weird meditative kind of state that I like? Yeah. Folding laundry. It's uh, very. I'm gonna make a real good housewife. One you day. are. You fucking clean the shit out of this place in one second. That's what I like to do. 
It's not because of my other kind of roots. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Anyway, go on. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, there's that one. Um, so, I'm also going to talk a little bit about... Like, I'm just going to kind of give you guys a little pep talk and myself about why you should stuff. meditate. Yeah. Um, so meditating is supposed to be a quieting of the mind, but along the way, your thoughts are going to keep zooming in and out and trying to distract you. And that's fine. It happens all the time in the it's beginning. Trickery. But there's, here's the secret. It happens all the time to masters too, apparently. So oh, they just take a Benadryl and they just they knock just that fucking shit out. take an Adderall and they I just knew it. zone the right the fuck out. I fucking knew it. Frog. Just kidding. They don't do that. They just they just focus more. So the trick with meditation isn't to totally eliminate those stray thoughts. It's to let them pass through your mind without grabbing a hold of them. So that like makes sense. it's just about looking at those thoughts differently. Right. Um just, you know, and being sense. aware of those thoughts and just letting them go. Letting that free ride go. Again, it does not have to be very long. Um, some of the masters advise people just starting with one minute of meditation per day. Just starting that way because you'll okay. slowly be able to build it up, just like you were saying. I'm saying you. I'm, um, I'm, 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 I'm actually just a master. You are. And it won't be enough to reap a huge, long-lasting benefit if you're just fucking meditating for a minute a day. But tolerance. you will succeed for sure, so that's exciting. Or not tolerance. And. Something. I. Um, and anyone can meditate for a minute, no matter how busy or distracted you are. So that's just a nice little small goal to have, like your baby steps. Baby steps. Have you ever seen What About Bob? Yeah, that was a good one, too. That is a good one. Oh, we're just throwing them all the 90s films out there. Right. Clifford, What About Bob? All of it. All the, all the movies I watched. Today. All the time. Anyway. Um... You don't have to be a certain type of person to meditate. Like I said, a lot of people think about hippy dippy. Yeah, you don't need to have like fucking six fucking hundred dollars on your goddamn arm and like a fucking crystal in your hang- nose. In your nose, and you don't. You have to be you just like anointed to be, by like somebody special. You just have to be willing, despite to what try. they tell you. Yeah, you don't have to be like anointed by a shaman. Or- yeah, they don't. You don't have to be like fucking for six ninety nine. You can have all the meditative practices for whatever. If the guy who plays Wolverine can meditate, you can do it too. It's true. But for seven hundred ninety nine, AKA Hugh Jackman. You can meditate with him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um on his face. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. As long as his Wolverine face is on. <laughs> or not. Anyways, Wolverine. In closing. Meditation is something everyone can do to improve their mental and emotional health. It's yes. proven, y'all. It's science. It's science. Hashtag science. Scientifically proven to do this. Um, or you can also microdose on mushrooms. I mean, either way. Or You're going to see shit. So. <laughs> um, you can do it anywhere. One's going to be faster, so just it's saying. It's true. You can do it anywhere without special equipment or memberships. It's mm-hmm. a free fucking activity that you can do whenever wherever you want nice um alternatively med- meditation courses and support groups are widely available um if you don't if you are like kind of feeling weird about i don't know how to do this or whatever there's you can take a meditation class right and they'll guide you through it there's even those fucking apps you can buy mm-hmm. which y'all know about those um don't you know Trying out a style of meditation suited to your goals is a great way to improve your quality of life, even if you only have a few minutes to do it each day. And that's all I wanted to say. I like it. I like that kind of science. Yes, me too. And maybe, watch what I'm going to do here, maybe if we all meditate all at the same time, it's going to cure global warming. It could. (laughs) 
if we all meditated more, maybe be like, holy shit, I shouldn't be supporting these industries. I shouldn't be driving my car so much. I should be taking care of the earth. I should be loving people the way that I should and the way I want to be loved. And I should be a kind human to the world. And we'll all talk like that. It'll be great. Together. I hope not. Maybe. I hope we don't know. We'll talk like that. Um, but yeah. Stranger things have happened. Basically, stop global warming and meditate is what I wanted to say. I like it. No. It's a good, simple message. But... Yeah, I just, uh, it's something that I want to start doing. And so I thought it would give me one step closer if I just told you guys about it. We'll make you, we'll be your accountability. Billy. Accountability billies. Billy billies. Billy billies. Accountability. Oh, that's a tongue twister for me. Accountability. Yeah. Accountability. Something like that. All right. That's, that it's was a fine. shorty. Because I had to talk so much to you about how to cook. I know, because I was like fucking wiping my knife off with a piece of grass, and I just couldn't <laughs> handle my shit. That was the best part. When you wipe, I was like, wipe was- your knife off. <laughs> wipe the lemongrass off your knife or something. <laughs> you and then you just wiped a piece of lemongrass on the you knife. Said, wipe it off with the lemongrass, and I think I just misunderstood you. I was like, yeah, I just, no. I mean, I said that, which doesn't make sense. No, or does it? But I wanted to pause it there. <sighs> uh oh. We gotta go. We gotta go, guys. But it's okay. I oh don't no! Know what I'm talking no, about? No, wait. First, while you, while oh. I find the dice, that my cat hid hid somewhere. Colonel um, Mustard was playing with the dice, and, and now I gotta find threw it. it somewhere. Then we can't find it. It's like a real life Easter egg hunt. It is. So you do my thing. Do your thing. Do okay, you guys, thing? we first have a all, task. Wait. But first, oh, shout out to fucking Katie, Caddy. <gasps> Holy shit, Caddy Cat. Yeah. Um, my, one of my very, very, very best friends. Probably mine one day. Caddy Manning. Best. Yes, you will be one day. Um, when you guys meet, we call her Caddy. Her name's Katie, but it's really Caddy. Because it's spelled C-A-T-Y, so it's catty. Uh, anyway, she gave us a really nice voice message this week. And we are so thankful and love the shout outs that we've gotten. And we love hearing the love. We love hearing that you guys like what we're doing. So uh, you finding that dice, Shay? She is literally crawling all over the ground right now. Because he threw it, literally. The cat, the cat. threw the dice. Oh my God, he's crazy. Yeah. Apparently it's perfectly in the middle of the couch where you can't get yeah. it. Um, so yeah, Instagram, if you don't follow us, you should. Um, also, if, and if you like the episodes, if anything f- makes you feel any kind of way if you want to share them with your friends share them on your instagram show us some love we'd love it do it just Just make sure we're we're doing what you guys want yes um also another thing about you guys that have been listening we've been trying to figure out what the fuck to call you guys yeah we want a little fun name for you, and we can't think of one. So if anyone has any suggestions on what you guys should call yourselves, like the only thing I can think of is 30-somethings, but that's dumb, so we're not going to do yeah, that. Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah, we're not. I know. Okay. I get it. We're not fucking doing that. <laughs> it's like I've already yelled at you about like, it. Like, yeah, we're, we're not, not fucking doing that, Brianna. That's so 1980s. stupid. 1980s. I don't no, know. it's not. It it's, just isn't fun enough. It's not. Um, so I another one was like I thought of maybe you guys could be called turds. <laughs> but that's also stupid. So this is why we need your help. <laughs> For no- <laughs> Hey you little turds. We're not calling them turds. <laughs> the turdies. We also oh the we, thirties. We, yeah, that's why the I said turdies. that. The turdies. Yeah, but I just want to call you guys turds because I think that's fun. Well that's not a good way to Obtain more hey, you listeners. turds. I call... It's a term of endearment. Okay. A turd, a turd of, of endearment. endearment. There it is. Okay. 
No, but uh, yeah, we yeah. want to see like if you guys had any other suggestions, and I'm sure you guys do. That are way more clever than us. Yeah. So if you have some clever thoughts, so you could either voice message us or DM us or uh, email us. We do have an email, which again. <laughs> whatever <laughs> if you guys are into that sort of thing i don't even know why i said it like that like i mean i guess if you guys want to use like the old-fashioned like carrier pigeon thing like go for it but mm, yeah whatever. fucking do it we'll send you our fucking <laughs> telegraph address a telegraph <laughs> send us a piece when you of sent a telegraph was it like to a phone number or was it the operator it was an operator huh i think it was to an operator yeah and then they're like boop, 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 boop. Because, because like if you didn't, because why would you send a telegraph to a telephone if you could just pick up the phone? Oh yeah, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> why would you call someone to make a telegraph? Can you imagine if you got on the phone and you're like, I'm gonna do that for nostalgia next time because telegraph telegraphs really take me back. Clearly, I don't even Second. remember them. To 1984. I really need to brush up on my telegraph history. Seriously. You're so silly. But we, yes, long story long. Uh, give us some suggestions, you guys. Yeah, we want to hear them. We do. We really do. Yeah. So uh, that's all for the laundry. Was that meditative for you while we aired was, out our I pretty much got laundry to list? Higher what? state of being when you were saying all those things. So I knew it. it You're good. so much less stressed. I know. Well, I've got my little therapy cat here. You do. He's just resting like a an adorable little kitten on your leg. He is. I wish his paws were crossed. It'd be adorable, but he's not a lady. So? Okay, are you ready to roll? Yeah. Here we go. Two. It's crime again. <laughs> oh my. I feel like this dice only rolls twos. It knows and what fives. I love. All right, we'll do it one more time for good no, measure. No. Or you can do crime again, Shay. Okay. Shay. That's fine. I like your crime stories. Thanks. Such when they're about fucking people getting their boobs chopped off. <laughs> And then people making <laughs> molds out of them. Okay, they weren't like a jello mold, for Christ's sakes. Yeah, it was just a real boob mold <laughs> with a boob that was cut off of a woman. Six. Two, three, four, five, six. Paranormal. Thank you. All right. Six. I'm going to do a paranormal story. Okay, paranormal. Oh, my Should we God. do it in Windsor? We're going to be like. Oh, paranormal can. and crime? I know. We're going to be like, and Ooh, that's why we drink. this is a good one gonna be a, oh. and that's why we drink episode oh my god <gasps> it's <Yeah>. destiny <laughs> i don't know why because because that was the first podcast i listened to oh there you go okay that you told me about then it is destiny and then because we were because i watched forensic files too much so then you were like we should that's, listen to this podcast that's right i did and i was like i don't listen to podcasts and, and then, then you're like i, did, I love this and podcast now mm-hmm. we have one ourselves. And now we have one ourselves. Okay, so crime and paranormal. That's right, going to be fun. Should we do it in a Windsor house? We so we're can. really scared? Like me. You mean me be really scared? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We should. Okay. And then take Leroy for a walk. <laughs> and then he'll eat the ghosts that are around us. Anyway. All right. Well, Perfect. that was our show for the day. That's our show. It's 1036. <sighs> We gotta, we gotta go. go. <laughs> we gotta go. Just because we have to go somewhere, and this is probably like, this is like fucking twenty year old status. Like we're just getting ready and go. I'm like, I'm gonna put on some t shirts and my comfy. Yeah, shoes. dude. I yeah. Fuck that. All right. Until okay. next time, guys. Good. Okay, love you. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Avida. Send good night. <laughs> <laughs>